Pitbull Cruz versus Sabrina Matias is happening since Eddie Hearn said that he wants to work with Al Heyman to make this fight happen. Who will actually win this fight? Well, before we talk about who to win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Pitbull Cruz fought Giovanni Cabrera, in which Giovanni Cabrera did trash in this whole entire fight. Isaac Cruz took control of the whole entire fight and won every single round, in which Isaac Cruz won by decision. Not this, we all know that Isaac Cruz just recently fought Rolly Romero, in which he rocked him in round one, took control of the whole entire fight, rocked him again in round seven and then stopped Rolly Romero in round day. Now let's take a look at Sabrina Matias latest performances in which he fought Jeremiah's Ponce in which both went back and forth both landed some great shots until Sabrina Matias dropped Jeremiah's in round five. On even terms maybe doing a little better. Yeah. Matias and Jeremiah's quit on the stool at the end of round five. That day, Sabrina Matias went on to fight Ergashev, in which both started out very fast. Both landed some great combinations, but Ergashev would just take it too much punishment, in which Ergashev ended up quitting on the stool at the beginning of round six. Now, out of all the champions in the 140 pound division, this matchup is my favorite, and let me explain why. And that is because stylistically, this fight makes the most sense, and let me tell you why. And that is because most fighters, when they fight Pitbull Cruz, if not all fighters, they only have two options, and that is to stand there and fight or to run or in other words not engaged and those are fighters like Javante Davis and Rolly Romel that we have seen so if a lot of fighters like to run from Pitbull Cruz and Sabrina Matias like to stand there and fight and go toe to toe then if you combine those two this is a good and even stylistic matchup so what I can see happening in this fight is that Pitbull Cruz is obviously going to come forward with his guard up looking to land that big crazy left hook to hopefully get inside and land some big power shots but that's where it gets interesting because how will Sabrina Matias react to all that crazy power because I know Sabrina Matias likes to stand with his guard up toe to toe and move around to make sure that his opponents don't land any clean shots but I think what Pitbull Cruz has to offer is way different because behind his punches is going to be explosiveness and crazy power that I don't think Sabriel Matias has ever felt. So in the end, I can see Pitbull Cruz putting Sabriel Matias on the back foot. And when Sabriel Matias fails to hurt or knock out Pitbull Cruz, that's when he'll realize that he can't win the dogfight against Pitbull Cruz. And that's when I see Pitbull Cruz knocking out Sabriel Matias.